Hey, this is Paul. I'm going to be making another video about uh, Witness Lee. And uh, this time it's going to be about Witness Lee's Christian hedonism. That's right, Witness Lee's Christian hedonism. The hedonism of Witness Lee and the local church's cult. Yes, I realize that Christian hedonism is an oxymoron. I realize that those are two contradictory words when you put them together, but that's exactly what Witness Lee and his cult have done. So I'm going to start off this video by asking a couple of questions. In your life, what comes first? Obeying God's word or seeking your own happiness? What comes first in your life? Uh, what comes first? Your pleasure or God's word, obedience to God's word? Is your pleasure a priority over the keeping of God's commandments? These are very, very serious questions that we all need to ask ourselves, especially those who are still in the local church's cult. You need to ask yourself this. You know, uh, one very great problem in the local church's cult and with Witness Lee is that unlike the Bible, unlike the Bible, the local churches with Witness Lee, they do not stress the keeping of God's word, the keeping of God's commandments. They do not stress that. But rather the stress of the ministry of Witness Lee, the stress of his ministry is to stress enjoying God the enjoyment of God, experiencing God, these kinds of things. You know, when you first come uh, get around the people in this group and you listen to what they're saying, you're going to hear a lot of talk about enjoying God and experiencing God. And we just need to be full of the enjoyment of God. And boy, doesn't that sound nice. But the problem with these things you know, I'm not against happiness. I'm not against enjoyment. But the problem with Witness Lee and the local church's cult is that they stress enjoyment, experience, happiness to the neglect of the keeping of God's commandments. They stress these things to the great neglect of the obedience of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. And according to them, if one is unable to keep God's word, if one is unable to uh, keep God's commandments and follow in his ways, then uh, that person, he or she, they simply needed more enjoyment of the Lord and they just needed to experience the Lord more and they needed more growth in life and that's why they're rebellious, that's why they're sinning. And uh, so I want to make this video to refute uh, one of these very foundational teachings of Witness Lee regarding the enjoyment of God and the experience of God and uh, how they portray it, how they define it. You know, uh, it's good to define words. We're going to be mentioning a lot of enjoyment and experience. You know, when you look up the word enjoyment, it always implies having nice, happy feelings. Am I right? Enjoyment implies having nice, happy feelings. And when it comes to this matter of enjoying the Lord, so to speak, according to Witness Lee, enjoyment, your happy, nice feelings, trump God's authority and rule in your life, according to Witness Lee's emphasis in his rebellious ministry. Lee claims, Witness Lee claims over and over and over again throughout his rebellious ministry that in order for us to keep God's commandments, we must first and foremost enjoy God and experience God. So according to Witness Lee, we have to enjoy God and experience God before we can obey him and before we can serve and please him. I guess Witness Lee did not read Isaiah chapter 48 verse 18, which reads, 
Oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. What does the Bible say regarding man's peace, his happiness, his enjoyment? According to Isaiah 48, 18, if we hearken unto God's commandments and follow his ways, then, then our peace will be like a river and our righteousness as the waves of the sea. Then we'll have an enjoyable life. But until then, the Bible says there's no peace for the wicked. There's no peace for the wicked. So what comes first is not man's happiness and peace. What comes first is God and the keeping of his commandments. But according to Witness Lee, man's enjoyment and his pleasure must come first. You see why I call this Christian hedonism? This teaching of Witness Lee makes him a peddler, a teacher of Christian hedonism. That's why his teaching appeals to the lazy servants. That's why his teaching appealed to the hippies in the 60s and the 70s. You know, in this group, in this cult, it is actually a stigma. It is a stigma to ever stress keeping God's commandments and uh, stressing obedience to God Almighty. If you do that, if you stress keeping God's commandments and obedience to God Almighty, it's a stigma. You'll be stigmatized because it is standard protocol in the local churches to stress enjoying God and experiencing God above all else, including obedience to God. Now they talk, the local churches will try to reason with you. They will twist God's word because Witness Lee taught that uh, if you stress keeping God's word and following his commandments, if, they, if you teach that a lot, then according to Witness Lee, you are in the principle of good and evil and not in the principle of life. So Witness Lee stole basically from Genesis chapter 2 uh, uh, regarding the two trees, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Witness Lee took from those two trees and made up his own teaching that there's a principle of life and there's a principle of the knowledge of good and evil. And the way that Witness Lee applied it was that if you stress keeping God's word, then uh, you're legalistic and you're dead and you're on, the, you're on the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which leads to death. And you're not on the tree of life, which leads to life. So Witness Lee employs this tactic in the life study of Genesis when he is uh, expounding upon the word according to his warped, twisted reasoning. Uh, he applies this, these principles of the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil to say, basically, if you stress in your ministry and in your teaching obedience to God and keeping God's word, then you're on the line of death. You're on the principle of the knowledge of good and evil, which leads to death. And you need to get back to the tree of life. Well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that teaching? I guess Witness Lee uh, didn't read John chapter 12, verse 50, which says, And I know that his commandment, that is the commandment of the Father. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Witness Lee and Witness Lee followers, you need to get it through your head that the commandment of God itself is life everlasting. It is not death to teach obedience to God and buffeting your body and laboring and struggling and striving to obey God. That is not death. That is life because God's very commandment, according to John chapter 12, verse 50, is life everlasting. And the keeping of God's commandments leads to life everlasting. You know, it's funny, just like an atheist. You know, I recently put up some videos of my, uh, you know, debating an atheist where I was warning him of hellfire and where I was exhorting him to repent. You know, the tactic of the atheists is that they try to create a false dilemma. They will try to tell you that there's no proof of God 